Snowsville's adolescent unit is part of the Maudsley Hospital, which is in Camberwell. Uh, the part of the hospital where we're located is called Map of the House, uh, and that's on De Crespigny Park. Um, so there you can see the, the main entrance. So we're just going through into the unit. It's actually split over two floors, so we're going to have a look on the ground floor part of it first. So that's the main entrance onto the ward. Uh, that's Sophie, psychologist, just coming out now. Um, just inside, um, that's the uh, ward manager's office. That's Claire in there. Looks like she's having a meeting with Gemma, one of the other nurses. So just going on down the corridor, um, that's where we've got the rooms. Um, we'll have a look inside one of the rooms later. Um, at the end here, that's the uh, nursing office. Oh, hi, I'm Sarah, I'm a student nurse. Okay, thank you. That's all right. <laughs> What's this for? Well, this is a, an introductory video to, for new people to the unit, so they can... Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Yeah. So this is the main nursing office where you do the kind of um, paperwork, paperwork and recording stuff and yeah. making phone calls, that sort of thing. Okay, so continuing down the corridor, um, a bit further on, then we've got the, the girls' dormitory. Um, so this has got like shared bathroom facilities, um, so there has to be single sex. Uh, those are two of the rooms, there's another couple on either side. Um, so we'll just go and have a look inside one of the rooms. Um, all the other rooms on the unit are very similar, except that they all have um, ensuite bathroom facilities as well. Okay, continuing on, that's some of the uh, photographic artwork. Um, that's the clinic room, so that's where the drug trolley is, that's where medication is given out and where like blood tests are done and physical examinations, that sort of thing. Now continuing around to the dining room. So up ahead, that's the, the main area where, where people have their meals. And the hatch, you can see over on the left, that's where the uh, food is served up. Um, that's where the menu is shown. Um, so there's an outdoor space. Um, people can use a bit of recreation and fresh air, particularly nice in the summer when it's warm. Um, down at the end there, that's where we look after the pets. Because um, sometimes we have visiting guinea pigs that Sophie very kindly brings in. And that's an opportunity for young people to spend time with them. That's a very popular activity. And a bit of pet care is certainly uh, very good for helping people to relax. Okay, so now we're going to look at the lounge area, um, sort of relaxation space. Um, we've got video games in here, the TV, people can watch DVDs, that sort of thing. Um, that's the interview room. We'll see a space for meeting up and talking. So this is the kitchen, that's where the catering staff uh, serve up the meals through the hatch there. I have another interview room down at the end. Um, can also be used for a bit of quiet space, just for reading or relaxing. And that connects through to the dining area. Okay, so now we're going to go to the upstairs part on the second floor. That's the main entrance. Um, just inside, that's where the administrator's office is. That's Jalaika. Um, she's the ward administrator. Um, she does a very important job to keep us on our toes and make sure everything's running smoothly. Okay, so going into the main corridor, 
I'm just showing you some of the artwork that we have on display. That was a project done by young people. Um, that's the SDS room, the Supported Discharge Service. Um, we'll do a separate clip introducing you to the, the people in that team and explaining how they work. So now we're going to have a look around the MDT office. That stands for Multidisciplinary Team. So this is like shared office space where people uh, do their work and writing notes, answering calls, that sort of thing. So all the note keeping is um, electronic, so that's why people do a lot of typing on the computers to record things. Okay, so I'm going to go back down the corridor. More examples of that photography project I mentioned. Some really interesting pictures they produced. Um, so this is my office. Um, this is where I meet up with you for the pre-ward round. Um, so we can catch up on how things are going and kind of review the plans and I can answer any questions you have about your care. Uh, it's also a useful space for meeting up with um, parents or carers if they come to visit and want to talk through things. Okay, so further on down the corridor, uh, that's the education room. We'll do a separate clip uh, explaining um, how the, the hospital school works and showing you inside the room. Uh, that's the notice board that the school uses for their announcements and things. Okay, so this is the family room. Um, so we can use this for family meetings, but also we, we often use this room for the CPA meetings. That's quite an important meeting we have. We'll have a separate clip explaining what that means and how that works. Okay, so this is the games room. This is a kind of a, a nice recreation area. There's quite a lot of facilities and things in here, sort of musical instruments and other activities. That's a table tennis table. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you want to come up here to use this space, um, just ask one of the nursing staff and they can arrange you to come up here to spend some time. Okay, so we've got interview rooms up here on the second floor. Um, this one we often refer to as the pink room, for obvious reasons. And the other room is called the blue room. Um, these rooms are often used for sort of one-to-one -one talking therapy, um, but also if it's exam time and you're not able to get to your school to sit the exam, we can also arrange to do it on the unit, uh, often using this room. Okay, so this is the um, OT and art room. Um, and this is where quite a lot of the groups are held. Um, obviously it's used for art psychotherapy. There's art psychotherapy group and there's also individual art, art therapy that can be offered. Okay, so this is the OT kitchen where you can uh, practice cooking skills, uh, working with uh, a member of the staff. And at the end of the corridor, we have the conference room. Um, that's where we get together as a team for the ward rounds, uh, where we discuss and update the, the plans for your care. Um, and sometimes we hold CPA meetings here if there's a particularly large group of people. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope that's helped uh, as an introduction to the layout of the unit. Obviously, if you have any other questions, just don't hesitate to ask anybody in the team.